Them to rhyme for the groupies It's a rhyme for the luchi All my rhymes become movies Time to climb out that hoopty I've been trying so long Been surviving the calm All that silence is gone My alliance is strong Never gonna be my clique My team is sick Sweat and tears, we bleeded it Let me teach you a bit about leadership Gotta face your fears and defeat it quick I'm the chief of this bitch You pray for our demise I saw the bar and exceeded it Never wasted any time I came in the game, I was aiming for fame It was me, myself, and I Never been thought to stop believing it Now you see I'm on the rise When you stare into my reflection Look, look deep into my eyes You know it ain't a question My team is right behind, that's my click Yeah All right, Calamity Crew, welcome back. So, I was able to reroute the wires in order to get this door open. So, we're continuing forward. If the station lost its connection to the world mine, wouldn't Xander send someone to investigate? Maybe they sent Quill's girlfriend. No, Hal's Hope was supposed to be here, remember? There, you hear that? Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Someone out there? I'm half thing. Remember? I did not. There it is again. Man, this place is big. What'd you expect? Uh, hey there. You are Nova. What gave it away? Wherever y'all are, come here a minute. It's too quiet. We have been talking extensively. Come on, we got to talk. Hey, look, I don't buy it. I just want a word. Perhaps a deadly assassin infiltrated the facility. Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in a cage. Nova Corps begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Nova Corps prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. Do you know about whatever's going on here? Not much. There was a commotion. People were talking about some mother, and then they just left. Corell? Did you see a Centurion or a little Cree girl? That's all I know. Come on, I helped you. Time to help me. Look for a door release or something. The whole station can be uninhabited. It is not uninhabited. It is inhabited by robots. I like it just better this around. way. Hey, hang on, where are you going? Maybe the station got hit? I hear there's still Shatari remnants who like to attack under protected Nova spots. Now this place brings back memories. You once served with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill. What? No! But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass. One, two, three, four. Nope. What would it take to call an entire station away? One, 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 one? Nope. We are here only to pay our fine. Four, three, two, one. <gasps> Do we really want to pay this fine and go back to being broke? Whoa, that guy was serious business. <sighs> Screw it. I ain't making any progress here. on Dervani was spooky. This door's locked. I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Perhaps the sentient space computer summoned all Nova Corps back to Zando. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, look at both your faces. The 
bunch of babies. Oh, you were too. Are these Centurion armor? Yup. Feel free to try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried through a puddle of goo, each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the Bucks tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one supercomputer you can't hack. Believe me, I tried. This looks like the only way forward. Are you blind? I didn't sign up for getting chopped in two just so you could make your, your girlfriend proud. It is more likely that the door would repeatedly crush your tiny bones. What do you think one of these suits would go for on the black market? Ah, no wonder the door's all torqued out. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. I bet I can take a Centurion. I went one-on-one -on -one with a Millennium, you know. Centurions are tougher. Tougher? That's it? I want details. Nope. I get a raise for this. Ding, ding, done. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. More nothing. There's gotta be an explanation. You heard that guy. They just left, and so should we. He also said something about Corel. He said mother. Everyone's got a mother, Quill. You do not. Point is, mother could be anyone. Except you. Uh, uh, ah. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Groot. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. Doors flarked. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more shifts. I heard they got, uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with, uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. 
Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Sector 3. Oh, uh, hey there. Is this thing on? We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corel. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corel to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're, uh, we're in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. Ah, it's about Flark and time. Where's Centurion Corel? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. If there's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I am group. Come. All will be made clear. Actually, we're good. Super good. We'll, uh... We'll just get out of your hair and mail in the fine. Don't worry about it. Or we could do that. Someone's getting hurt! I have vanquished this Nova Corps traitor! This will not reflect well on our find. I don't think that matters now. With that door, Flark, we gotta go out the way they came in. So expect more of them purple freaks. Yeah, what was with that weird glow they had? Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if she don't try and kill us like the last lot. No way. Not Corral. Looks like a standoff. Whoa, was a standoff. Not good. Clark, Nova killing Nova. Which side won? Wow. There's your answer. Oh, man, this is bad. We're sitting down. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of <laughs> choice. Clark and Meathead, nice knowing you. Peter has everyone gone nuts. Bend your knees when you land. Can you handle that, baby? Not much we can do about it now. <laughs>
This is what you get for shooting at us! Big guy, 12 o'clock! Current time is irrelevant. Bear, kill, now! Ah, that is much more informative. Those who resist must return. Don't think they're just gonna let us leave! Mark them! We'll shoot our way out! Oh, you need to cool off! Guys, huddle up! All right, all right, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guy. Cut 
target requires precision! Feels good to engage in honest combat! So much for just paying our fine! too close! That's why I'm here! here. The trick is to defeat them before they defeat you! Appreciate the help, big guy! Stay frosty! Can anyone crack that freaking field? I believe the electrical bummer turf is a priority! I think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Quill's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop loving Hume! Come on. Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flarka. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. I prefer the rodent's plan. It's a try. Find the invaders. None must escape. How did the all-knowing world mind not foresee this event? They're just a computer, not God. Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano and... Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process! First sensible thing you said all cycling! Come on, Rocket! You can't stay mad at me! Wanna bet? Intruders in the
preferred our last encounter with Nova Corps. Not exactly top five! <laughs> this day was going. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? What's with that glowing? For once, let's keep our noses out of it. <laughs> hey, we can get through here. You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look! Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. It's a sorcerer. Behold the magic float. Oh, there's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine, no problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. This door's locked. I said down here. to join us. What's the harm in checking? What's the harm? Oh, let's just pay our fine. Let's just look around. Let's just stumble onto a fork and cult mutiny. So, you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Hey. Whoa! Urge the faithless. Fork and scut. Can nothing go easy? Super 
I wasn't second guessing, I'm just sure. These doors have been barricaded. It means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good at them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones. Gamora's right. At least I hope she is. They can't all be dead. They ain't. Most of them switch sides. I mean, some of them must have escaped. You were referring to your former lover, and the child. I've got to believe Corral was on that ship. Yeah, well, believing don't make it so. <sighs> what would make Nova turn on Nova? Perhaps they were not acting of their own free will. Uh, they sure looked like they knew what they were doing. To me. Is there any way for us to track where the Hope went? Why the Scud would we want to do that? There could be survivors aboard. Or more of those... All right, Hanger, here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PO. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscle. No, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4PL, done. All right. Bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. Let us deal None with these rebels! Focus life. on the clamps, Peter! We'll try to keep them off you! Surely true Nova Paul would not fall this easily! At least there's no How centurions! How exactly do we release these things? What am I, a user's down. manual? Then shoot the flock in vain! One down! Tunes. I got your scudding there, music! We've got more incoming! They really don't want us to go! Nice to be warded! This 
We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? All right, Quill, get up. Just sitting there. Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying our fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. Quill really cared about this team. He wouldn't get turned around as soon as an ex-girlfriend walks into the room. I am not! We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Perhaps we should consume the rest of our food rations before we reach nowhere. I don't know what I expected. I knew Quill was only in it for himself, and the other two ain't much better. I'm mainly mad at him, but flark all of them. I'm done. Do you ever ponder how different your lives would have been had you joined the Nova Corps? You asking me or Peter? Both. I don't think either of us would have fared very well. You are not fond of peacekeeping. And Peter's not fond of helmets. It messes with his hair. Sure, we could try to work together, but it ain't gonna succeed. I mean, show me one team as this- Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. 
Groot says, go away. I'm gonna harass the hell out of them. About it. Leave us alone. Groot, reason with him. Groot don't want to talk to you. Rocket. Groot? So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. Nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Cosmo will actually believe us? Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Please keep the spaceport How do we keep ending up here for work? I need some downtime. What is it you are so eager to do? Drink, gamble, throw myself into the Flarkin Rift, I don't care. Just something fun. I find vanquishing my foes to be the most enjoyable pastime. That's good too, but it isn't everything. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? He's good, apologize. That's your advice? If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Nova Corps all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. If I were Rocket, where would I be? You were not. He was much shorter and covered in fur. I mean, hypothetically. And you would have lived a completely different life, and your location would be irrelevant. Thanks, Drax. You're welcome. How do 
we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? Head straight through the market. You can't miss it. see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave when it befits them. Anyway, Cosmo sniffed out a scheme me and Yondu had cooking. He threatened to throw the both of us in jail. I've heard he keeps things on a pretty tight leash. Keep an eye on your things. These poops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. The Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the... It's Mantis. You still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you? Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh, you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. By the quotations he wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green moon. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I told Peter Quill I would try. But that is not the point. I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big guy. Let's just not push it right now. What was his problem? You seem to know the... Huh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't... Just ignore me. We gotta talk about this. Don't overthink it, Drax.
So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you capture the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, uh, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? I think you got me confused with somebody else, pal. Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Huh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your shit together. You're more than just... I know that blonde mob What is this? Eat Ugly little sucker. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordidia. With your bridges. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? No, no, <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't remember meeting you, man, sorry. How the hell could you forget? Look, look, there was a couple of years there where uh, things got a little bit blurry, okay? There, you know, picking up missions, strange women, alien alcohol. So just like now? I can't believe this. You and me, storm riders. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? Oh, oh! Because <laughs> my name is JD Calamity. No police, we beat a pyrex, say that you can die, fix, they stole a whole motorway, it's Robert Sun.